because it's early morning, but this is the Wiley shelter. That's where we pitched our tent. And now we're ending up a lot of people. Um, there's the shelter up there. Privy is back beyond there. Um, there's a huge blow down. It's right over the new tent pad. And the old tent pad here has holes in it, so we couldn't use it. But there's somebody hammock there, and they're sleeping. We'll talk more later. Good morning. Good morning, kids. It's June 22nd. Yep. It is about 7.30, I think. How about cool to 8? Oh, my. Yeah, we're taking the late train. Um, we've got 12 miles to go to Mount Al Gore. Um, oh, there's the pump, which we did not use. If you use the pump here, you definitely have to filter it. Wiley Shelter Pump. It has cooties. Um, it wasn't a bad night. It rained, but not horrifically so. Oh. Be careful. This is wide. Yeah, but it did, of course, decide to rain right as we were packing up, which is annoying. Um, you get used to it. Today is not going to be a brutal day. We're just going to be dodging rain. And like I said, we're planning to go to Mount Algor, which is 12 miles. I don't even know if we told you yesterday we went like 16.6. We're getting terrible about that in the wrap-up. If everything is a complete train wreck, we might push on to Kent because there was rumors that you could tent at the Methodist Church. But hopefully the weather's not going to be insane. And then tomorrow we are taking a very early Nero in Kent. Anything you'd like to add? No. Nope. Had a good night's sleep. The rain was great to sleep by. Tent was reasonably dry inside. Everything, you know, feel good today. Yeah. So, we'll see cool. how the day goes. It's Let's cool. see what calamities befall us. The first thing is there's a bridge that's out that, when it's not raining, is easy to cross on rocks. If you don't get to cross on rocks, you get to hike down a road for a mile. <laughs> Stay tuned. Well... That's a pretty big stretch across there. Oh, yeah. My way worked pretty good. Yeah, well, it's a little late for that now. Okay. This doesn't look too well. I don't know. It's just you don't know if slip. Yeah, I know. Decisions. Make good decisions. Fall right as you come up the bank. I couldn't believe that rock actually moved as big as it was. Somebody said it would. It was in the hey, comments. Hey, go you. That's the bridge that's out. Um, we got to it a lot faster than I thought we would. Yeah, it's sort of a hot mess. Um, just that little bit of rain covered up some of the crossings. My shoe got a little wet, but not terrible. Uh, but yeah, there are a lot of ways around it. Just don't do it if it's dangerous. Um, yeah, there. yeah. Uh, we actually didn't even see the bypass once again, just not paying attention, I guess. Well, we figured out that when we crossed the street as we were coming out of the camp, there was a sign and somebody had written on it, only Bill and Felix go this route or use this route. So we didn't actually read what it said and that was a bypass. So if you don't want to deal with the creek, go up the road. Look what just is about to happen. Another one ticked off. Welcome to Connecticut. Can't believe we made it this far. Gateway to New England. Woo! Yeah. Awesome. We have arrived at 10 Mile Hill. 1,000 feet. That'll get your blood flowing. Rich is adventuring over there to see if that overlook is viewing anything. Is it good? I can't hear them, so I'm going to have to make these steps anyway. Yeah, we're a little steamy, but the weather is cool. Even if it is still very foggy and humid. Oh, what is that? That's some kind of big plant, huh? Oh, well, there you go. I don't know if you can see the flashing lights or not. So It's so hazy. Oh, we have... Whiplash. I'm Roadkill. No, he's Roadkill. Oh, I'm sorry. Everybody just say who Whip, we are. Whiplash. Sleepy. Whiplash. 
<laughs> AK roadkill. Yeah, roadkill. Uh, hey, we uh, we told you all about the other roadkill. Yep, yeah, excited. Yeah, there's yeah. a hot redhead roadkill. Oh, now I'm gonna have to live. She's hot gonna kill redhead. me if she hears it. <laughs> so the young ones are almost completely out of view already. You know, that's one thing that's hard for us older folks to see them just prance down the trail. But they have confirmed something that we suspected. The front edge of the bubble is starting to catch us. Um, it'll be okay because the fast ones will hike right through. Um, we're just going to have to be a little more attentive to lodging and stuff when we come to town because there will be more people. Um, we were also talking about the fact that it seems like every darn time we want to go into town, the weather's going to be perfect. But I don't think we're going to veer from our course. No? Uh -huh. No. We will go ahead and go to Kent. Um, but if the weather can stay a little more moderate, we may be able to bang out some more miles um, in Connecticut. I know Johnny Drifter and Gigi, we stay in touch, and they said there's a section in Connecticut that's just like bereft of leaves. The caterpillars have eaten them all. So if it's really hot going through there, that's going to stink. But if it can stay nicer, maybe we can get those miles done while it's still cool. Usually just the, the logs are enough, but apparently people need a little stronger suggestion of which direction to go. <laughs> Let's go right. And, and there was a place telling you to go right too. Thank you, Connecticut, for all your help. Cause you know, we have been known to hike the wrong direction. Right, Rich? Yeah. We have arrived at the 10 mile river shelter and campsites are that way. We'll see them on our way past, but Rich wants to run up to the shelter for a second. So we'll run up here and see what it's like. Oh, here's the shelter. Compact but tidy. Picnic table. Pump way out there. And the privy is over that way. And there's a big field. And it's sprinkling. Oh well. Well, that was a super nice shelter. Um, and it has bear boxes. I was real surprised that New York, hardly any of the shelters had bear boxes or bear cables. Um, we're now walking along the river and, oh, they even had a washing station for people to wash their pots. Um, and the privy was nice. So yeah, if we'd had more gas in the tank yesterday, we would have tried to push on to the tenting area here, um, which I'll show you in a second. But we would have had to climb over a 10 mile mountain, which was, you know, a thousand foot climb. And we'd already gone 16 and a half and it was hot. So, you know, you can't always do what you want. You just do the best you can. <laughs> like the tenting is off over that way, if I had to guess, because the gut hook comments said you'd be sleeping by the river. Yeah, campsites. And we're going that way up over that big bridge. We've been walking along the Pusaconic River ever since we um, went past the tent site. And it is just gorgeous. I wish we could see the rapids a little better, but um, it's, you know, the trees are blocking it. We're going to get wet today. We got a good couple hours of pretty good rain coming. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. uh, break out the umbrella. Yeah, I mean, of course, that will immediately mean the trail will close up to where we can't use them. But uh, we have options. There's a general store that we could, like, duck in and have some lunch, charge our stuff, hide out. Because we're only going another eight miles today, and it's 10 o'clock. So it'll be a game time decision. But it sure has been beautiful. So far, Connecticut, we like you a lot. We just climbed just shy of a thousand feet in about 1.8 miles from Bull Bridge. Uh, the decision was made not to go to the general store because we have a very bizarre but plentiful portion, um, assortment of food. So we just climbed and the rain's held off. So I'm glad for that. Um, it's, it's amazing. It's super pretty. Well, we picked a bad day to get a late start. <clears throat> Sorry, frog in my throat. Um, the rain held off actually longer than it was supposed to, but we're still a little over three miles from the shelter. And it's raining. Um, it just makes the downhills a lot trickier, especially when they're rocky. Um, we'll just take our time on 
Don't know what happened to him. He was putting his umbrella together. There he is. There we go. So, I mean, right now the trail's not super tight, so that helps. Yeah, now he's losing his mind. So I better put this away so I can concentrate on what we're doing. Yeah, Mary Poppins back there. Well, we have been enjoying a lovely crawl through the rocks and cliffs and everything alongside the mountain here. Baby girl's having fun here today. This is uh, a little trust ridge through here with the rocks and stuff and climbing up and down and then it's been a blast. Not, <laughs> oh well, just thought I'd throw a moment of cheer into how we are embracing the suck as they say today. Well, you sure are, there's no question about that. But at least it's not a 100 degree heat index. That's a plus, so yay. Well, there's a little blow down there, but it's maneuverable. It's a little trickier with an umbrella. We have a little over two miles to go. Uh, just lift it up. Um, of course, it slowed us down tremendously. Um, the only blessing is that most of the time when it's a, what? What's your announcement? I just looked at the radar. Yeah. And it's going to rain like nuts until further notice. Oh, that's lovely. Um, <laughs> yeah, the only saving grace is that when you get to these big slabs of rock, there's usually a way around them, so you're not like skating like we were in New York. But I need to put this away. Filming and walking is not a thing to do in this condition. This is kind of cool. There's tons of blueberries up here along the trail. Just gobs of them. But they're all green. I've managed to find two ripe ones in all my little encounters here. See them? Yeah. They're everywhere. The whole bottom of the forest is just covered with blueberries. Bunches of green. Oh well. Hikers coming along in a couple weeks are gonna have a belly full. Nice slick rocks in the rain. Fun stuff, huh? Woohoo! So, where we're going to the shelter is 1.3 miles ahead, and it's about 200 feet of ascent, according to that hook, and almost 900 feet of descent, which in uh, pouring down rain, going down is, for me and her, I think most folks, more difficult than going up, actually, because of the slippy slide going down. but. Hopefully it's not all those big rock slabs like that. But uh, yeah, with trepidation we proceed. When it's gonna rain, just get out of bed. Seriously, we have subjected ourselves to misery and we still have more slippery slidey rocks to go down. Ugh. Tell the kids you love them, okay. That one there, not happy today. Pretty little waterfall. Beautiful woods. Nice little creek crossing here. Connecticut, yes, you're doing us proud today. We made it. Oh, Ufka. Ufka. Of course, we haven't technically made it. We'd still have to get down the trail yeah. to the actual shelter. Got your chicken. <laughs> and of course, now that we're here, the rain will stop, which will be fine as long as the sun comes out because, you know, everything's wet and everything's going to stay wet. It actually took a remarkably long time for my shoes to get saturated, like almost an hour and a half. But yeah, we haven't eaten anything. We haven't stretched. It's time to just get here. We don't film inside the tent very often. <laughs> and this is probably the worst day to do it. That smells like a wet dog. Um, unfortunately, I smell like a wet dog. Yeah, pretty much everything smells like a wet dog. Um, when it rains, it's a challenge with a single wall tent. Um, 
I think it is with the double sometimes too, but we're the condensation on the fly. Just yeah. Like but we came into the shelter area. We got the tent set up. Um, Show them the MacGyver. The yeah. We got the vestibules. Yeah, we got to keep them open to keep the airflow, to keep the condensation down. Yeah, because we just got in here and started getting together, and all of a sudden everything started to get it, condensated. It's a little damp. It's not yeah. terrible. But yeah, we went up to the shelter area for a while, and um, you, know, you just see everything's exploded. We ate and dried out a little bit. Now we put on clean, dry clothes that we have because tomorrow's town day. We keep a uh, just a generic shopping bag to put our nasty wet clothes in. Yeah. And under normal circumstances, we'll throw these in the bottom of our sleeping bag at night. But not today. But not today, <laughs> because we're going to town. Yeah, I mean, it's really hard not to just run into town right now. But anyway, it's when we- It's amazing how overnight, how much they dry and how much more comfortable they are to put on the next day if you throw them in here and throw them in the bottom of your bag yeah. at night. It hurts. This, this girl has got the sharpest knees. Oh my God, she rolls over. Just stick some right in the, the thigh. It, 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 it's already a long video. Notice the do-rag keeping my ball head warm because it's freezing cold. I, it it's is like, cold. It's like 40, it's supposed to go to 46 tonight. Like yeah. out there now, it's in the low 50s. When you're used to like 95 degree heat index and, and the next day it's like this. Mm -hmm. Surprise. And it's raining. Yeah, it never did quit. I, I thought it would quit, but here, yeah, hear it. Yes. Yes. I know these two hikers that if they got their lazy butts out of bed a couple hours earlier, they wouldn't have had to hike and but no. Treachery. <laughs> no. No. They no. decided to sleep in. Mistakes were made. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But we survived. Um, it is the June, June twenty second. Yeah, they knew that. We told them that this morning. It's and it's seven oh four PM. Yeah, I'd be like, uh, yeah. Yeah. It yeah. was hard, but we did This it. one was not happy today. Well, I was just frustrated because, again, I mean, it's different if you have no control. This is so terrifying. If you have no control over the situation, then you just suck it up and gut it up. But we could have, like you said, we could have avoided it. Now, she everything was so would have peaceful still been... sleeping at 6 o'clock this oh, morning. Just talk. This is getting too long. But, no, and, and, you know, everything would have been wet, but we would yeah, have enjoyed this... that section more. I mean, it yeah, was actually. It would have been fun. It kind of reminded me of that one in New York that was wet. It, or New Jersey, wherever it was. It was New York. Um, it was both, actually. We crossed the line. That's right. Um, but it's the kind of thing that's really fun when it's dry, but when it's not dry. Yeah, it, 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 it was all along the side of this, these ledges and this cliffs mm -hmm. and the ups and the downs and everything coming over here for about the last mile. Right. Would, would have been fun. And there were some views that looked like they would have been really nice. Yeah. but. They didn't happen. Not all views will happen. But tomorrow is a town day. Yeah, we're going to have a real early Nero. Yeah. We're going to get in town. And um, everything we have is wet sm and smelly. smelly and nasty. Yeah. And but the laundromat opens at 6 a.m. So we're only like four tenths from where you go into Kent. And then I think it's like eight tenths. So yeah. we've got like 1.2 miles to be in town. Yeah, we're like a um, mile, almost two miles. So we're going to... We don't really have any breakfast food anyway because we ate everything we had today for breakfast. We had honey buns for breakfast we did. today. Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> they were awesome. <laughs> well, those things went down really nice. I they was did. surprised. I was like, hmm, I don't think yeah, I've had one good. of those in about 40 years. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but boy, that was hit it was the spot, good. man. <laughs> but so we'll get up early and we'll go to town and we'll eat and do laundry. Um, one of the reasons we camped is, you know, prices are a little more up this way. Um, We've been trying, we've been staying in a lot of free places and we've found some economical stuff. But um, if we took, you know, if we stayed here and then went in really early in the morning, we'd only have to spend one night in a hotel, but have all the full day in town. Yeah, so, so that's what we're going to do. I mean, it's honestly, just, it's too expensive. yeah, we would have loved to have run into town tonight for sure. But we're going to man up. <laughs> well, we have to because they're closed on Tuesdays. <laughs> Even if she did. She, I so would have she was my, like, I would have spit if, my children's inheritance. <laughs> if that had been open today, I'd have called them, blah, blah, blah. I would have. But she was so unhappy today. Well, I just, you know, again, I just get frustrated with myself for putting myself in a position I shouldn't be in. Because seriously, well, people I mean, fall. It's not in the like rain. we were climbing Mount Washington. Come yeah, on. I know. But people you know. fall in situations like oh, this. Oh, yeah, yeah. You had to be really careful. Yeah. I mean, we spent. It, it, I mean, you know, it, instead of doing, you know, 25, 
20 minute miles, something like that. Yeah, they were their, 30s. I mean, 30, 36. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, it slowed us down by about a third. Yeah. Which is I mean, a we lot. skipped the, We skipped the general store, which, I mean, we didn't really have to go. I, I just like to. Um, but by skipping that, we were able to get farther down the trail, thank heaven. We'd have been walking in the rain a lot longer otherwise. But they're a great group of folks here. Um, finally yeah. took pictures of Smoky and Afternoon Cowboy. Um, we've been spending time with them at the shelters, gosh, two or three nights, and they're super nice. They're getting ready to take yeah. a little time off trail. Yeah, we spent a couple, couple well, a good yeah. hour at least over there chatting with the yeah. folks at the shelter. That was cool. Yeah, and Pinky Mountain, they they were stuck behind, you know, behind us in the rain, so, you know, I think they're in their tent yeah. commiserating as well. Yeah. <laughs> but we should probably stop because this is already a pretty long video, so um, we're going to go into town tomorrow. We'll do a little bit of filming. Oops, mm, I accidentally hit happen. stopped. The day just continues along. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that, I guess, yeah, on that happy note, we'll just say good night. All right. Night, kids.